Thank you for being with us today, everyone. It's Andrew from IDB bringing you the best jailbreak tweaks for the Messages app, starting off with antisocial. Apple allows you to leave group conversations, but only if they are four or more people. So if you are in an awkward conversation with three people and you'd like to leave, you can't. You just have that conversation in your phone. Well, now with this tweak installed, you have that option again reinstated down at the bottom in red to leave that combo. Tapping that just gives you that confirmation message, and that's it. You've gone ahead and left that conversation, leaving it just to Anthony and Jack over there. Available for free in Sassidia, so if you are in those three-person conversations, definitely one to check out. Next up, we have Dark Messages, which is kind of a dark UI specifically for the Messages application. I find this handy because I don't want a fully fledged like dark UI necessarily on everything. I kind of like a lot of the UIs that are out there, but in messages it can be quite a bit bright, one of the brightest ones that it has. But now with this installed, you can see it just makes everything dark. There's a cool little tweak in here though. If we go leave the messages application in general and head over to settings, we can kind of you know customize this a little bit. You do have two options, which is to control with Noctis and control with Night Shift. And Night Shift is one of my favorite ones because I love Night Shift. It automatically kind of turns on and off based on the time of day. But if I do that, I can do it manually here for the video, turn it on, it'll kind of reboot the messages app and there you go. So whenever Night Shift turns on, it automatically enables the dark mode inside of messages. And obviously when Night Shift is off, it is disabled. So really great simple tweak available for free inside of Sedia. Now we have Do Not Annoy. And like it says, you always have those people that just send you constant messages or put like a whole conversation to just a bunch of little text bubbles. Well, that's no longer the case. So when you have someone, you know, Jack here, hey, you, blah, 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 and oh my gosh, now there's another one and another one. And they just keep kind of cascading in. With this tweak, it prevents your phone from alerting you and playing a noise and that vibration every time a new one comes in within a certain time span. So if you've got you know, three or six messages from Jack all within a few seconds of each other, it's only going to beep and vibrate your phone one time. So really handy for those times when you have uh, an app, not just messages, maybe it's the calendar or a Slack message or WhatsApp, something like that that just keeps sending conversation after conversation after conversation and your phone keeps blowing up, it'll kind of mute those notifications. If you jump into the settings app, you do have a few options, including enabling and disabling. How long to time out, so how long before it kind of resets and allows you to have another message. So they come within 15 seconds, it'll keep doing that. You can prevent that screen wake up as well as a few other options like which mode, app mode, which can works for everyone, or chat mode, which works specifically for chat messages, um, chat apps, and will notify you kind of based on the person and not just the app in general. So if different people are doing it, it'll only do it on that one person who keeps messaging you. And of course you can turn off the live screen banners and alerts and other small things. You can also disable certain applications. So maybe I really think calendar is important and if I have a bunch of things coming from calendar, I wanna see those, you can disable that app. This is the one paid on our list available for $1.99. Now we have Lil Emoji. We've covered this one in the past, and when iOS 10 came out, they made emojis larger, three times larger to be specific. If you had one or two emojis by themselves, they would be they would be large. They'd be three times the size as what you're seeing now. But with this free little tweak installed, it just makes them that small size. So whether you have one, two, three, five, does not matter. Your emoji are always going to stay small. It may not seem like a big deal, but if you have a smaller phone, those emojis would kind of take up a lot of space inside of your messages. So this tweet just removes that option and just makes them all small, giving you a little bit more space inside the app. Now we have Message Filter, also featured on our best tweaks for iOS 10. This is a great free tweak that kind of helps you whitelist and blacklist words based on who you are sending things to which really helps you <laughs> prevent you from sending things you don't want to say to the wrong people. So we're gonna tap the I in that top right hand corner of a message and we have this new option for blacklisted words and whitelisted words. So for a blacklisted word, we're gonna go ahead and hit add new word here. I'm gonna put in Android. So anytime I try to send the word Android to this person, it'll, it'll alert me saying that word is blacklisted. Do you really wanna send? We also have whitelisted. So a whitelisted word will be okay in this conversation, but not okay in all the other ones. So maybe I wanna put something in here, maybe I'm talking to a girlfriend uh, and I, I wanna put the word baby. So I don't say the word baby to a coworker, a boss, or, or someone else. 
So we've added a blacklisted word, we've added a whitelisted word. We're gonna go ahead and tap done in the top right hand corner to lock that down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and send a message over here and I wanna say, hey, I sure do love my Android phone. And when I go ahead and put that message in and I hit send, oh no, hold up, we've got an alert. That's a blacklisted word. Do you really, really want to say that? I can send it anyway, I can override, but I really want to hit cancel and switch that to my, my Apple phone. Oh, perfect, and that one will go through, no problems asked. Now we're going to switch to another conversation and look at that whitelisted word. So I'm going to go up here to Jack. I'm going to type in here um, something I can use the word baby, which was whitelisted, so it should be allowed only my other combo and yeah not here so i did not mean to send i did not mean to call jack baby so i'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel on that and switch a what's up uh, respected co-worker so co-worker here instead of baby so it kind of prevents you from saying something uh to somebody else so another free tweak uh kind of prevents you from saying things you really did not mean to say and avoid some awkward conversations moving on to our last tweak on the list that is translucent messages and it kind of does what the title sounds like. It makes your background or your messages app translucent. So not the bubbles themselves, but the actual backgrounds, which is kind of a neat UI thing because it takes your existing background and makes that kind of the UI for the messages app. So based on what your preferences are, it kind of determines how the app will look. You can see how it looks here, both on the list view as well as inside of an actual conversation. However, if you do jump up into the actual, you know, the eye to see additional information, that will still be that kind of semi-translucent screen, that white screen you have normally. Another fun fact, this does work with dark messages. So what we looked at previously, there will be a dark mode. It'll just add like a darker tint, but still allowing your background to shine through. If we hippity hop over here to the settings application and look at translucent message, you do have two options other than enabling and disabling. You have the option to blur that wallpaper. So maybe you don't want it to be blurred in the background, no problem, you can turn that option off and now your background will be as sharp as it is on your lock screen and your home screen. Also available for free inside of Sadia. So that is it, five great jailbreak tweaks for the Messages app inside of iOS 10. Let us know if there's ones that we forgot down in the comments below. Click subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.